published, 1502 EDT, the 18th of April 2018, updated, 1958 EDT, the 18th of April 2018 Hardline Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has vowed to buy or make any weapons it needs to defend itself from invading powers as Israel braces itself for an attack. From Tehran President Hassan Rouhani said Iran would make or buy any weapons it needed to defend itself in a region beset by invading powers. As the military paraded missiles and soldiers in front of him on National Army Day, fighter jets and bombers flew overhead as Rouhani told the Tehran crowd and a live TV audience on Wednesday that Iran's forces posed no threat to its neighbors. Iranian leader President Hassan Rouhani, center has vowed make or buy any weapons to defend itself from invading powers during a major display of military might among the military hardware on display was this S-300 air defense missile there were also several older S-200 air defense missiles on display during the military parade way tell the world that we will produce or acquire any weapons we need and will not wait for their approval we tell our neighboring countries that our weapons are not against you it's for deterrence Rouhani said. We are not living in a normal region, and we see invading powers have built bases around us. Disregarding the principles of international law, they intervene in regional affairs and invade other countries without UN permission. Rouhani added, US, British, and French forces pounded Iran's ally Syria with air strikes early on Saturday in retaliation for a suspected April 7 chemical weapons attack which they blame on Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's government. Britain, France and Germany have proposed fresh EU sanctions on Iran over its ballistic missiles and its role in Syria as war, in a bid to persuade US. President Donald Trump to preserve the 2015 nuclear deal with Tehran. Personnel from all branches of the Iranian military were participating in today's parade. Not all of the hardware on display looked cutting edge such as this air defense gun. Several Iranian army helicopters including this Bell H-1 Cobra were involved in the parade. Trump has delivered an ultimatum to the European signatories to fix what he saw as the terrible flaws of the deal, threatening to refuse to extend U.S. sanctions relief on Iran. U.S. sanctions will resume unless Trump issues fresh waivers to suspend them on May 12. Iran was also showing off some of their fleet of Boeing Chinook helicopters during the parade. Dozens of types of missiles were driven past a mausoleum containing the remains of Ayatollah Khomeini outside Tehran to mark National Army Day. Rouhani told the parade, We are not living in a normal region and we see invading powers have built bases around us. Disregarding the principles of international law, they intervene in regional affairs and invade other countries without UN permission now. Israel is bracing itself for an attack directly from Iran, launched by the country's Revolutionary Guard Corps to avenge the seven dead soldiers killed on April 9. The IDF reportedly believe an attack by the Iranian army will be launched from one of the bases they control in allied Syria, and have warned Tehran against any action. Israel will react strongly to any Iranian action from inside Syria, senior IDF source told Sky News according to J Post. Israel, which has often struck Syrian army locations during its neighbor's seven-year civil war, has neither confirmed nor denied mounting the raid. But Israeli officials said that Tiaz air base was being used by troops from Iran and that Israel would not accept such a presence in Syria of its arch foe. Iran Stansom news agency said seven Iranian military personnel had been killed in the attack, which contributed to a sharp escalation of tensions between the West and Russia. The Tiaz strike was the first time we attacked live Iranian targets both facilities and people, New York Times columnist Thomas Friedman quoted the Israeli military source as saying. Friedman described the seven Iranians killed as members of the Quds Force, a branch of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps that oversees operations abroad, and one of them as a commander of a drone unit, asked about the claim of Israeli responsibility cited in the New York Times article, which was published on Sunday, an Israeli military spokeswoman said. There is no comment at this time. While acknowledging that it has carried out scores of strikes in Syria against suspect Iranian deployments or arms transfers to Lebanese Hezbollah guerrillas, Israel generally does not comment on specific missions.